<laughs> what steps that are required to get started uh, in contracting? The, the, the number one thing I think you'd want to do is identify what market you're going to enter in the government contracting. You've got to determine what your expertise is and what you want to pass on to the community through government contracts. Once you've done that, then it's important that you understand the basics of government business. You don't have to go to every detail and have your accounting running 100%, have all your purchasing procedures up to speed, have your timekeeping up to speed, but you do need to have a basic understanding of what the government requires. And you have to know what it's going to do to your current systems if you go after government contracts before you pursue. What do you mean that by that? Well, you have, like, for example, in the commercial world, you can go set up your accounting however you want to as long as you can create an invoice. Mm -hmm. The government has strong accounting regulations you have to follow. No matter what contract you're going after, there are some regulations you have to follow. Purchasing, there are different thresholds you have to, uh, when you're going after different contracts or you're awarding contracts, there are different thresholds that you have to follow the steps the government says to be able to award those contracts or to go after them and so forth. So the different business factors, you have to follow government regulations or you have to be prepared to follow them to, in, or, in order to go after the government business. Do you have to already be established as a functioning business or as a corporation to seek these contracts? No, you do not. There are a lot of different types of contracts. There will be some where you have to be established, but those are the ones where they want to have uh, historical records proving that you can, pr you can perform as you state you would in the proposal, but there are a lot of them that don't require the history. You can identify that upon award of this contract, you'll establish your business within a five-day period or whatever, and then all of your business systems will be brought up to speed. For example, so, what kinds of? Well, for example, if they would ask for, uh, uh, let's say you're, you're a, a designer, and they're looking for a designer uh, contracting type firm mm -hmm. or person to come help an engineering firm do some designing, and you're out on uh, uh, you're either you've been laid off, or you've decided to retire for a little bit. You can submit a proposal identifying your experience, the rate, and so forth. And if you win it in that proposal, you can identify upon award, you will establish your own company and you'll have your QuickBooks or whatever the accounting system may be up to speed prior to actually performing any of the work. Mm -hmm. So you can do it in a manner something like that.